What's going on YouTube? Today we have a match against Zell Murasame from YouTube. Been talking to this guy for the past few weeks uh, and he's a really cool guy and he has really good videos. I suggest you uh, check out his channel. And I'm uploading, I'm going to try to upload on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule because when I go off to school those are going to be my three least busy days. So I figured now would be a good time. But this isn't set in stone, this is more like a test run. But yeah. Anyway, to the battle. He's gonna go for a choice specs Draco Media and Dusclops takes that like a champ. With Eviolite, Dusclops is amazing. He's now the best out of the evolution and he's the second form. So and now I'm gonna be able to take a choice banded uh, v create from a Victini and I still live. And that's just that's just incredible. <laughs> Dusclops, I've always loved him, but now you know, now he's more viable and standard play. But I really don't want him to take another V career because I know he can't. But I kind of probably should have let him go there because Haxorus sure can't take a V create either. So Haxorus comes in and he's going to be scared away. He wants to save the Victini for later, knowing that um, he can hit anything really hard. I'm going to go for an Earthquake Cannon, gets a crit, which is. Um, not too important, really. I mean, it, it, it's not detrimental to how the match went. So I'm going to go to my Fortress, knowing I can take any hit that this um, Conkledor can do to me. And I'm going to set up my Stealth Rock. I probably should have killed the Conkledor first, because he's going to be able to get two Drain Punches off on me before he goes down. Which is kind of problematic, but I kind of just wanted my Rocks up. Because Entry Hazard is always nice to have, and I specifically have Fortress on this team for the Entry Hazard. So that um, my Sweeper, Haxorus, can go to work and uh, get some extra help out on the damage end when, for things that he can uh, take out. So Conqueror goes down and Fortress is... Very, very weak, and Victini is going to be able to come in, and, you know, V-Create obviously is going to take me out. It's times 4, 180 base power, I believe, and it's stab, and choice band. So, yeah, Victini's V-Create is a monster. I think it's going to be taken out of UU soon. Um, probably, they're probably just going to make BL here again. So, yeah, I'm going to switch into Nido King and get a Ice Beam, Ice Beam off to take out the... Uh, Victini and Nido King, like I've said, is an awesome uh, re revenge killer this generation, and he's been really, really helpful on a lot of my teams. But obviously, I won't be able to take a Specs Draco Meteor. So Nido King goes down, and I believe I'm going to switch it to Dusclops, and Dusclops is going to scare him away at least. And I believe I'm going to go for a Pain Split on the switch as he brings in his own Nido King, and I believe. Oh no, I go for Night. Nightshade to just try to finish off the Latios. I should have went for the, the paint split. I really should have. That might have cost me a little bit. But I'm going to go for the paint split here. And I'm living Sheer Force, Life Orb, Earth Powers, which are also stat from this Needle King, and I'm still living. And I really shocked him with the Ice Beam here. He really did not see that coming. But I just wanted Needle King to get low enough so that I could actually take him out. And this is where my problems start with this Azumarill. My wall was gone, my physical defensive wall. And I honestly didn't have too much to deal with this thing with Fortress gone. And I'm going to send in my Espeon to set up the Reflect because I kind of need it because this is probably like all Azumarill's choice banded. As I can clearly see, he keeps going for the Aqua Jet. And I'm going to just try to get as much damage on him as possible with that Psy Shock and... He's going to take me out this Espeon. And this is where I make my crucial misplay. I sent in my Volcarona when I should have sent in my Haxorus, but I thought the game was lost already, you know. But it turns out I could have lived one of those Aqua Jets and taken out the Azumarill with an Outrage. And then later on I would have been able to set up a sweep with a Vol my Volcarona because I could have lived a Spectre Draco Meteor because I have some special defense EVs invested into him. So, I want to send him my Haxorus now, and uh, he's going to go down. He, there's nothing I could really do about that. That was just me not thinking, me not doing damage calcs. I've never done damage calc in my life. Um, 
yeah, and that's the game. So it was a really fun game, really nice. I really, I highly suggest you check out his channel. He has great videos, great quality, good narration. So um, comment, rate, subscribe, and press the like button because uh, it doesn't take too much of your time. And yeah, just show me that you you uh, watch and drop a comment if you choose to. Uh,